How's it going, everybody? I'm gonna do what's becoming like a yearly fucking thing that I have to do. A, a pure plane sir breaks down a Pistons loss to the Cavs, and you know, let me, let me preface, preface this by saying a couple things. First of all, I'm not all that mad we lost because you know, if you if you notice, uh, little baby, you know, obviously takes it personal going against the Pistons. He tries to act like the the Celtics are his biggest rival, but they're really not. It's the Pistons, and you'll see because he always plays tryhard. He rested a game before this one. It was that important for him to fucking beat the Pistons, and he, that shows that he is that fucking scared of us. He sees us in our rear, in his rear rear mirror coming up and catching up, ready to take what he thinks is his, but you know what? We had it before he ever could dream of having it, so I don't really care what he thinks is his. And uh, here we go. Let's get started. Um, here's, uh, Marcus Morris fucking up a pass right here. He should have passed it to Bias. He had one-on-one -on -one coverage with LeBron. Look at this. Look at all that space. He should have swung it to Tobias. And then Tobias probably, he could have done his, his dribble pull-up. Or he would have drove hard, forced the help to come. And then you got to drop off past the fucking Andre Drummond for the dunk. This fucking Swiss cheese defense over here. And we, we bail him out with a stupid shot like that. Right here is Dre just trying to do fucking too much, man. If he just keeps the basics, stuck with his damn post hooks and stuff, but he's trying to be fancy, be like a guard, and that's why you get shitty results like that. Be a fucking big man, Dre. This next uh, possession right here, KCP, you gotta recover back to, to Kyrie so Dre can go back to Tristan and then that bullshit doesn't happen. Three. Clearly against Kyrie, we cannot be playing this much help, D, because he's looking to find Tristan. This is a terrible offensive possession because Dre is setting fucking terrible picks and the spacing is just bad too, so it's not all on Dre. Like, Dre, like, you gotta have more um, focus on these picks. Look how bad these picks are. Doesn't even get any contact with Kyrie there, none at all. And then you should have kicked it to Ish there. He did. Okay, he did. Now, swing it to Tobias or something. Or go cross-court pass to Marcus Morris. He should have done another swing, KCP. Marcus Morris has got a power forward on him. He doesn't have the foot speed to catch Mark or uh, keep up with Marcus Morris. Instead, you do a very low percentage contested floater. And that was just not a good possession. This is just a fucking retarded take by Ish Smith. I, I don't even know what else to say other than just don't ever fucking take a shot like that again. We were having trouble with this all night. Look, at, I knew that there had to be an opening on the three-point line because look at all the help they bring to stop Dre. There's two guys on Dre. Marcus Morris is wide the fuck open for three. We're definitely not going to get beat by that bullshit defense next time. They cannot be committing all these people to Dre with, with all these shooters wide open on the fucking floor. We need to start finding these fucking shooters. On this one, Ish, they fucking sag off you a lot, but that doesn't mean pull up for the three right here. You got mid-range jumper. Look at all that space for a mid-range jumper you have. You could take a mid-range jumper right when you're right by uh, Dre, but instead, and you should have kicked it out to Morris. Morris was much more open. Um, this one was a terrible miscommunication on defense. Nobody even picks up LeBron, their best fucking player. You gotta communicate better. Tell someone to pick up LeBron, Marcus. It looks like you pointed. I don't know if you yelled it or not, but you guys gotta communicate better on that bullshit. The problem with this play is the pass gets to Dre a little late, but it's also a part of Dre's fuck up. Like, Dre's wide open. Um, is You gotta, Dre, back him down. Tristan Thompson is so much skinnier than you. Back him down. Instead, you went straight to the hook. Instead of, you know, fighting for more, better position, or forcing them to W so you can open up the three-point shooter. <laughs> On this play, I, I know I always say feed the fucking big man, but this one, this one Morse was wide open. And Morse would have had all that space. They have two guys basically committed to... Basically, Love cannot get back on Morris and check Morris. We need to abuse the mismatch of Love not being able to check our fucking uh, small ball lineup. And uh, you should have gave it to Bias. They're doubling you. And then then you would have got a repost or something, but you didn't give it to him. You just kept holding him. Yep. Yeah. Unlucky play. Both teams with a fair turnover. This right here. <laughs> 
I don't know what the fuck Ish Smith was thinking. He should have went to John Lord or Marcus Morris. Instead, he does that, dumbass. The, this next possession, listen, you guys are giving LeBron too much credit for his shooting. Stop his fucking drive into the basket, his slashing ability. This, you guys are worried about shooting too much or something. He's just gonna roll right through. And Dre, you should have blocked it. Wow. Embarrassing. You, you know what the difference between uh, a Larry Brown coach team and um, a Stan Van Gundy coach team is a Larry Brown coach team abuses mismatches. Here, we we give them mismatches that are advantageous to them. John Luehr ends up with, I believe, Kyrie Irving on him on this play, and we don't even give him the fucking ball, man. What the fuck? Let, let John Lure get the ball here and go to work. And he, he should have slashed in instead of just popping. Yeah, he is slashing in. Give it to John Lure there. What are you doing, KCP? You making this fucking bum Tristan Thomas look like fucking uh, Tristan Thompson look like fucking Ben Wallace out here. He ain't Ben Wallace. He shouldn't be doing that to us. Are you kidding? Good deed, Dre. Here, I'm only putting this in here to embarrass La Baby James or La Baby Lames, I should call him. Yeah, I missed that, you fucking scrub. This, this I hate because Dre's been slacking on his picks, man. He, he starts becoming an all star and he thinks, look at that, he just does a slip. Doesn't get any contact on Kyrie at all. Just, like, come on, man. The whole point of a pick is to slow down the man that, that's got guarding the ball handler. And then you, you don't realize this, but you end up not getting open, Dre, because uh, Kyrie, does, he barely has to recover on KCP. So Tristan doesn't even care. He's just going to commit to you pretty much. Oh, look at that wide open Marcus Morris. You got to go to that three. They're bringing, look at that, three, almost four guys in the fucking paint. And, and we're not kicking it out for three there. Are you kidding me? Break down this fucking defense. It's not just Andre setting shitty picks. Here comes Bane with a weak ass pick. This is why we're not getting open. Look at how weak these picks are, man. Man, Baines was open for days. I don't know what the hell is taking him so long to feed Baines. Next time, we should abuse the shit out of Kevin Love. He 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 checks fucking Stephen Curry for one possession, and Curry misses, and they act, oh, he's a good defender. No, he's not. This We should be abusing this mismatch all day, every day. Abuse it. Kevin Love does not have the foot speed to catch or check Marcus Moore. This was good, D. They just fucking gave him a bailout call. So what the fuck are you going to do when, the, when stupid shit like this happens? Where's the foul? Can't, I'm pretty sure you can just put your hand straight up and that's not a foul, rep. Where's the fucking foul? I'm showing this one because this is good D by Marcus Morris. This one, all these people in the paint. If you see all these people in the paint, kick it out to the three-point line. Look at that, three, four guys in the paint. Almost five. Kick it out to the fucking three-point line. They're all caving in. The, 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 like, what's it called? What should I, the point of emphasis should be drive and kick. That's why we suck at three-point shooting, because we never fucking kick it out when we drive in and uh, cause everybody to fucking collapse the paint. Even though we force teams to collapse the paint harder than any other fucking team in the league, yet we don't take advantage of it. On this, Stanley, you respect LeBron's jumper way too much. Worry about the fucking drive. The only reason why he, he gets past you on this is because you're worried about that dumbass jumper that he doesn't have. The only jumper he has is wide open spot up. If he's not wide open spot up, if he's got to shoot up the dribble, I like our chances against his shitty ass shooter. This was good, D. The refs just bail out an old man that shouldn't be playing anymore. <laughs> They act like Richard Jefferson's like 24 and can still dunk like crazy. Here you go again, falling for that fucking shitty ass pump fake, Stanley. Don't fall for it. He can't shoot. On on this, we go through the... We start swinging the ball around the perimeter. But when that happens, they can't fucking pack in the paint on Dre anymore. And we don't find Dre when he's open. Swing, swing. Oh, look, Dre's open. They got to go back to the three-point line. Dre was open. One-on-one -on -one mismatch against old-ass geezer that can't fucking athletically hang with Dre. And we didn't even give Dre the ball. 
You know, there's a saying in basketball, bad shots lead to good shots on the other end for them, because there goes a bad shot by Hilliard. He thinks, oh, I'm open. That wasn't a bad shot. No, we weren't even set in our offense. It was a terrible shot. And then, so these guys, and then you got fucking, uh, uh, what's the Channing Fry acting like? You got him in the nuts, but all of a sudden he's miraculously fine after that. You know, little actor over there. And, um... Oh, let me act like I got hit in the nuts. Oh, 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 the ref didn't call it. Let me just get back like I never got hit. If you got hit in the nuts, you're not fucking running back on D, bitch. Okay, or on offense. And this, so oh, what did I say? Bad shots on one end lead to good shots on the other. We're all scrambling, not, not back on D, especially you, Darren Hilliard. And what happens? What happens, Darren? Oh, oh, there's your man. Oh, 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 what happened? You left him wide open because you took a dumbass shot on the other end. I don't know why Stan decided to have you play this game. What the fuck? Was he trying to throw... Right here, Dre, there's two things I don't like about this play. You could have did another dribble back down, and like they're all committing in the paint. You got four guys in the paint. Kick it out to three, bro. What are you doing, man? You broke down the D, and then instead you bail them out with that shot. Here comes some more acting by um, the Cavaliers. Oh, why does it keep going? All right. Keep an eye on Kevin Love. He gets away with two of these at least from what I've seen in the game. Look at this. Oh no! Yeah. Oh, let me act! Oh, let me catch up! Oh, oh, oh! Fucking bailout bullshit. On this, we're getting into some old Rip Hamilton shit here. The way that... I, I, you're not looking, but the way J.R. Smith tries to jump this fucking passing lane... KCP, you should have popped straight to the fucking corner. He would have been in recovery mode. You have a, uh, a stop and pop three, or you get a fucking uh, pull-up jumper, or then they would have to rotate over and you dump it down to the big man. Instead, you keep going to that same spot. See, J.R. Smith, you should, if you went to the fucking corner over here, he would have been in recovery mode. That's why you didn't get that pass there, because he jumped the fucking passing lane. Next time they jump it, go jump the other way so he gets burned by it. Here we go, we have a flashback of young Andre Drummond getting discouraged. You know what, Dre, though? You should have backed him down, but you are in your spot where you usually hit him. He's like, he gets away with pushing Dre with two hands on the back. And, and you know, that's why you miss it, because they fucking give you that cheap-ass push, but, you know, back him down. If you back him down, he can't push you because you're pushing him instead of him pushing you, and you put your head down. But, you know what, he got away with fucking following the shit out of you. Right here's great D by John Lohr. This is what we gotta do against Kevin Love, not let him get a fucking inch. Actually, let me, let me play this back. Ish, you're fucking blind yet again. I don't know how you... you have you, like, never thrown alley-oops before? Look, he's wide open for an oop. He calls for it, and you didn't even give it to him. And then we end up missing it. You did find a dunk, but still, it would... Give it to Dre, the guy, he can jump out the gym. What are you doing? Right here comes a great block by Andre. And then Ish Smith with fucking up this playmaking. Oh, I wanted to go slow. Like, dude, KCP's open there. Give him a bounce pass, he's open for layup, and then he just starts tapering off because you go for layup. That you, you miss a lot of layups, Ish. You know what, and it's when you're going full speed when you miss a lot of them, dude. You got to figure that shit out. You got to figure out how to make full speed fucking layups. S spend a half hour practicing from half court running full fucking speed and do layups. Do that until you figure something out. Work on finger rolls, something, putting different English on the glass. Figure something out, Ish, because you're missing way too many layups. And right, right after, bro, the very next position, possession, you miss another fucking layup, bro. Uh, Wow. I, I think it has to do with your speed, Ish. You go too fast in the cup, to the cup, and then that happens. On this, what I don't understand how this is not a travel on J.R. Smith. They call it travels when, when people don't put the ball down on the floor, like, before they dribble. And, and what, look at what he does here. How is that not a travel, then? Let me get that off the screen. Um, 
So that was like three steps, I'm assuming. Whatever. I, it's not a big deal to me. But what I don't understand is how they call it travels if you like accidentally pick up the wrong pivot foot and he took three steps there. Well, he established the two feet and then took an extra step. So does that just count because he's going in a shot? I don't know. I don't care. It just looks fucking weird. Right here, Dre starting to press the issue. And, I mean, it's a good take. You, you missed a tough luck layup, but look, you got four guys in the paint, Dre. Kick it out to John Lure, let him start swinging it around the perimeter. Instead, you get a tough luck miss. It bounced off, you know, unlucky, but, you know. And then you're going to, I'm assuming you'll put your head down. Nope, you kept your head up. All right, that's good. Don't fucking put your head down, big fucking. You know, I'm going I'm to end it right here with a, a nice play. And, you know, I'm only going to do the first half. And, and, and uh, you know what? Bam! Oh. And he slaps the fucking backboard. What a beast. But, you know, um, this this is my little closing remarks. I'm not going to do the whole game. I I just don't really feel like it, you know? Uh, and, um, th this is, this is all, and I feel like I got enough tape to break down the Pistons' loss to the, the Cavaliers. And, Here's some things I am happy about. We only kept them to, what, 102 points it was or whatever? So our defense wasn't the problem. It was our offense. And, and I don't feel like, sure, yes, the Cavaliers beat us, but it was more so we beat ourselves. And you know what? We, we just, you know, take this loss on the chin, learn from it, and next time we'll fucking whoop their fucking asses because they're not all that. They play shitty defense. They pack in the paint way too fucking much, and they're not going to get away with the next game. So, uh, yeah... You know, shout out to Detroit Basketball, the three-time champions, and Cleveland's only got one ring. So, fuck you fucking losers. I really don't give a shit about the Cavs. And, um, oh yeah, and LeBron, haha, <laughs> you can only draw 300 people to vote for Hillary Clinton. Ha <laughs> ha!